Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is rolling out the latest Patch Tuesday security updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And uh, for Windows 11 version 22H2, uh, the update is KB5025239. And uh, the Patch Tuesday updates will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device unless you decide to pause the update for a couple of days. Now, um, the update was made available on the 11th of April and addresses security issues uh, in the Windows 11 22H2 operating system. And just to have a quick look at the um, security vulnerabilities that have been addressed. Uh, for Windows 11, uh, there are 59 vulnerabilities in total that have been fixed. 54 of those um, were important vulnerabilities that have been patched and 5 critical. And critical is your highest rated vulnerability. And those 5 critical vulnerabilities are remote code execution vulnerabilities. And, uh, and although there are no mention of zero days, so exploits already exploited in the wild, uh, when we are dealing with critical vulnerabilities, uh, important to check that you get the update sooner than later to patch your system. So a total of 59 vulnerabilities have been fixed, five of which are critical. Now, um, if we have a look at what's new um, in KB5025239 for this month, April uh, 2023, uh, the security update includes improvements that were part of this update, 5023778, which was the optional bug fix update that rolled out uh, near the end of March uh, last month for Windows 11 version 22H2. So if you didn't install this update, as you may know by now, all the fixes, improvements um, will be rolled over into this latest Patch Tuesday update. Now, um, I did post a whole video on the actual improvements that did roll out with KB5023778. So if you didn't install that update, um, just to go through um, some of the improvements. And by the way, I'll leave a link to that video down below, which will give you a lot more info. Now, as mentioned, um, there's new notifications for Microsoft accounts in the start menu, which currently has been met with a lot of debate. And although I'm not seeing them yet, and they are on a controlled rollout, and this is where you'll get notifications, as an example, to back up your system using OneDrive. And, and Microsoft is calling them notifications, but a lot of users are calling them ads. So um, that is part of this update, um, like it or not. And they've also added new improvements to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. And uh, the search box uh, in the taskbar will be lighter when you set Windows 10 to a custom color mode. And uh, if we just head over quickly to the notepad for Windows 11 22H2 after this update has been applied, if you head to your settings, uh, the combo boxes and the like, um, um, they have received a couple of fixes. Apparently not all the actual uh, features were being displayed in those combo boxes for notepad. And uh, just like Windows 10, they've also addressed USB printer issues. And um, it also brings other fixes and improvements. So those were all the fixes, more or less, that rolled out with the optional update near the end of last month, which are now made available in 5025239. Now, getting back to um, the actual improvements that have been made available for this month. Now, over and above being a security update, uh, the update does add a new feature, which I did uh, mention in my previous video for Windows 10, but nonetheless, for the purpose of this video, uh, it up, the update implements the new Windows Local Administrator Password Solution, LAPS, L-A-P-S for short, as a Windows Inbox feature, and that's mainly geared at system admins. Um, so just take note of that. And also um, addresses a compatibility issue, which was occurring because of unsupported and unsupported use of the registry. And both those fixes also rolled out for Windows 10. So over and above your important security updates, that have rolled out for this month, we also get those two new uh, improvements rolling out for April 2023. Now, um, when the update has been installed, um, if we just head over to Winver quickly about Windows, this will give us our latest build for Windows 11 version uh, 22H2. And the OS build has been bumped up to uh, 2261 point one 
555 and that's the latest uh, build now for Windows 11 version 22H2 and that's more or less what is new in the latest update 5025239 for Windows 11 22H2 for Patch Tuesday for the month of April 2023. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.